I always wanted to achieve. I always wanted to do something with myself. As much as I was one of those kind of rough kids, I'd get in trouble, I'd, I'd get myself into situations or whatever, I'd be doing things I shouldn't be doing. As much as that was all something to do for fun, I always knew that I wanted to do something with myself. I never wanted to be nobody. I always wanted to be someone, I always wanted to do something. Um, and with football, it didn't necessarily work out, but with boxing, I found a lane where I'm able to able to not just do something and, and make something of myself, but also inspire others. And, and because I come from Ipswich, it's not a massive town, it's not a massive place. But people here and other kids and other boxers and stuff can look to me and say, you know what, he came from the same street I lived on, he lived down the road, he went to the same school I went to, he went to the same shops or whatever, like, and he's managing to get in on the, on the TV and on these shows and whatever else. It's, um, that's the bit for me that I'm most kind of pleased with about myself is that I'm able to kind of be a bit of a, a look towards a point towards for people to say, you know what, I can do this. Because initially when I started, there wasn't no one like that really that I could look and say, oh, well, so-and-so has done it, so I can do it as well. Um, we kind of had to make our own path and, and build our way through, build our way through, sorry, and me and the team have, have done that. So we're, we're happy of where we are right now. Yeah, fight camp last year was was that first kind of like first light into the beacon almost to um to say now nah, we're still going to power through we're still going to make it through boxing's still going to carry on and we're still going to keep going and and to be coming back around the second time feels like a privilege because you felt those first few bunch of fighters that are able to get back out on them on them fight camp shows felt like oh we're like the chosen few almost the lucky the lucky ones because even on them cards there was only four or five fights or whatever it wasn't even there was that many so um yeah to then for first time be able to get back to it and then come around a second time to be again chosen to be on fight camp and be a part of what's obviously going to be a, a massively massively crazy event is just a privilege so i'm i'm buzzing to get back out there and then there for there to be some fans as well is going to make it just the icing on the cake and now set to make his ring walk here is the fast rising heavy handed heavyweight the undefeated charge fighting out of Ipswich, England, Fabio Wardley. Gibraltar was outright on its own, a fantastic experience. Um, another one of those kind of landmark things to do with just when I look back on my career and be like, I can be like, yeah, no, I was a part of that. And that was a, that was a big thing to be a part of. And then to obviously have a big fight with someone like Eric Molina, who um, is well established, well known, Great experience in the game, has been around at a high level for a long time and to, to come through a few adversities in that, a few challenges, been tested in a few different ways that I hadn't been tested before but still overcome them and still come through and ultimately still get the knockout and, and clean them out of there. Coincidentally, this fight first started at um, Fight Camp last year. I got through Simon Villili quite easily. Um, and me, Eddie, Dill and the team were talking about coming back again for the last fight camp show because I was on the first week and then I was going to go straight back into the gym, straight back into training and jumping on the last week, which was week four. Um, and that was something we were trying to put together and we were trying to find an opponent. And that was where the first thing started. Of I said, Nick Webb, like, get Nick in. Like, he, can, you know, he can have a go for my English title if he wants. He can give that a go as well, stick it on the line. I don't care. Like, that's where that started with me mentioning his name and saying that he's, he's a decent name, there's a decent domestic kind of scrap there. And if he wants, and for people who had not been, like we'd just come out of the pandemic a little bit and people hadn't been fighting, I was like, give it to him. He's local, he's an opportunity. If he hasn't been fighting, then let him have a go. Let him have a crack and let him have a swing at it and see what he's got. But he declined that then and <laughs> he declined it many times since. I've been I've been the one biting at this for ages. I've been the one saying like, come on, like if you think you you are who you are and you've got all these skills that you think you have, let's go, let's give it a go. But 
I've had to do a lot of hunting, a lot of chasing, but I've got there in the end, so it is what it is. <laughs> He's your atypical kind of boxer. Your big heavyweight relies purely on his size and his power and once those two things go out the window and he realises they don't work, he's, he goes into panic mode and he doesn't, ha he doesn't have an option plan B or C. He, he has one game, he has one game plan. I'm big, I'm strong, I'm going to use my size and my, and my weight to my advantage. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it comes off. And against me, you've got no chance. The only experience Nick has over me is losing and getting knocked out. He's done that twice, I've never done that. And my resume, you can pick any of my fighters, they're, they're better than anyone he's faced. Is, is he, has he faced anyone better than Eric Molina? No. Has he faced anyone better than Richard Larty? No. He got knocked out by a journeyman. He got knocked out by Dave Allen that rolled off the sofa two weeks earlier. Like, don't, don't talk about experience, because the only experiences you have that I don't is losers. He's 30 odd whatever, and he's not achieved the same things I've achieved. He's not done the same things I've done. Because why? Because he doesn't have that same confidence in himself and I know it's there and it's easy to exploit and I'm gonna find it. In my own words, this fight is getting done in four rounds by a clean knockout, you'll see him asleep on the floor, snoozing on the canvas. That's, that's how it's getting done. I won't accept any other way. No other way of getting him out of there is acceptable. It's definitely not going to points, we both know that, but I'm not, I'm not taking a, a soft kind of KO, I'm, I'm coming for something heavy. My motivation to win this fight is to one, shut Nick Webb up, and two, is to progress through my career, is keep pushing and keep showing that I'm I'm a force in this heavyweight division and I'm going to be someone to be reckoned with once we get later down the line.